Proof by induction is a pre-calculus concept that a lot of students struggle with when they see for the first time because proof it was sort of a new topic for, for pre-calculus students. Induction is a really neat way to prove uh, something that you need to show for an infinite number of cases. So there's a process and there's really three steps to the process. The first process, the first step is to show that it works for the first case. And then you assume that it works for some kth case. And if it works for the kth case, it must work for the k plus one case. And what that does is it shows that your statement is true for all cases that you're considering. So you show that it's true for some starter case, some first case. And then if it works for any case, it works for the next case. So since it worked for the first case, it has to work for the second case. Since it works for the second case, it has to work for the third case, uh, etc. So what we're going to do, we're going to prove uh, a, a divisibility statement. So we're going to prove that 3 divides 4 to the n minus 1 for all natural numbers n. So we're here going to say for all n uh, that are elements of the natural numbers. Okay. We're going to do this by induction. So the first thing you have to do is show that it works for your base case. So our base case is when n is equal to 1. So our base case, our base case is n equals to 1. Well then what do we have? We have 4 to the 1 minus 1 is 3. 3 divides 3, so the base case works. The next step is called the induction hypothesis. The induction hypothesis is assume, uh, assume true for some kth case. So assume that 4, excuse me, assume that 3 divides 4 to the k minus 1. Assume that 3 divides 4 to the k minus 1. Now is the induction step. Uh, consider the k plus 1 case. So consider uh, 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Okay. We're going to somehow get this to look more like that. So 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1, I'm going to factor out a 4. And when I factor out a 4 from this term, I have 1 less factor of 4 in this exponential. So it should be 4 to the k. Now I want, I want it to look like this. So I'm going to put a minus 1 here, knowing that this equation is not true right now. Because look. If I distribute this 4 back in, I have 4 to the k plus 1 minus 4. But I want it to say minus 1, so we can fix that by just adding 3. Now this equation is true. Now look at this. We already know by the induction hypothesis that 3 divides this number. 3 divides 4 to the k minus 1, so 3 divides the product of, of 4 to the k minus 1 and 4. Also, 3 divides 3, we know that. So since 3 divides this number, and 3 divides this number, so 3 divides that, which is equal to this, 3 divides 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1. So therefore, 3 divides 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1. So we have shown, by induction, that 3 divides 4 to the n minus 1. Uh, that is for all n in uh, If you have other induction proofs that you need help with, by all means, feel free to send me, a, send me an email and I'll do my best to help. I hope this helps you understand induction. It's a really neat way to prove statements.